Hello everyone, my name's Mike and welcome to Tech Car Moon where I talk about and review camera tech, gadgets and smart gizmos. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to hit 4,000 subs, but today we will be talking about how to use NFC to control your Philips Hue lights. Let's jump into it. We use our phones for pretty much everything nowadays, including making payments using things like Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay. Well, did you know that the technology used in those payment sort of services can also be used to control your smart lights with just a single tap of your phone? So how does this work? To start with, the technology is called NFC or Near Field Communication. Now the basics of this tech is that you have an NFC reader and an NFC tag that stores all the information and requires no power whatsoever. Then you need to have the reader to read the information from the tag. Now there's no pairing process whatsoever. All that you need to do is just tap your phone to the NFC tag and the task that you want is triggered. So what do you need to get started? First of all, you need to have a phone that has NFC. Now iPhone 7, 8 and the 10 all have technically NFC chips built in, but they aren't actively set to scan in the background for tags. When you tap a tag using one of these iPhones, basically things don't start happening unless you open up uh, an app. So it basically means that unless you open up the app to manually set it to trigger for tags, for NFC tags, then basically that tag doesn't get read. Now, when it comes to those iPhones, essentially it's probably easier for you to just to carry out the task yourself or to obviously just open up the app and do the task from there. Things work much better on the 10s and 10R as they actively scan for NFC tags in the background, which makes it far more useful using these iPhones than obviously the other iPhones. On Android phones, things are much simpler. Android phones have had NFC for years, way before Apple did, but please make sure that your phone has it. Now, if you use things like Google Pay or Samsung Pay, then pretty much you have it and you can use it. Just search up your phone on Google to check if it has NFC, and that is probably the easiest way to see if it does. Next up, you need some NFC tags. There are loads of different types of NFC tags in different shapes and sizes, so I will put a couple in the description down below, but basically look out for uh, a tag called ntag213 as this will be more than enough to write the information that we need in this video. So I'm gonna mainly talk about the Android setup as it's a little bit harder than uh, the setup on Apple HomeKit. So with Apple, they have this thing called shortcuts, which is basically where you can create the NFC tags. But on Android, it doesn't have an app like Shortcuts, which makes things a little bit tougher when you're trying to set it up. There is a basic free way of controlling your Philips Hue lights, and there is a paid way of controlling not just your lights, but also your Philips uh, smart plugs as well. I will mention that I did pay for the other app using my own money, and I have no affiliation with the creator. So all my thoughts uh, on this will be mine, just like with any video that I do. So let's start with the free app on the Android, which is called Hue Switch NFC. So here's the application. So as you can see, we've got the groups of lights as well as the lights themselves. So when you initially set it up, all that you need to do is just press this little tool button on the bottom, press the Hue Link button on the Philips Hue bridge, and there you go. So I'm just gonna press cancel and refresh it. So as you can see, we've got the lights just at the bottom here. So we can control each individual light and what state we want them to be in. Now within each light, we can have four different settings. So we can switch it off. So no matter what state it's on, it will go back to off. We can switch it on or off. So what it will do is, is it will flip flop between uh, on or off. So if it's on at the moment, it will turn off. And if it's off at the moment, it will turn back on. 
we can turn on the light permanently. So depending on what state it's on, it will turn on no matter what. And then we can switch the color as well. Now I will go into this in a little bit more detail in a moment, but let's do a simple NFC write. So just to prove to you that this all works, obviously, as you can see in the main bedroom or in the bedroom itself, we've got the main bedroom light, the office light and the floor light. As you can see, they're all off. So if we go back into the app, now what I want to do is, is when I tap on the tag, I want the main bedroom light to turn on and I also want the floor light to turn on, but I don't want the office light to turn on. So I'll just click switch off. Now then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to press save. We're going to write it onto the NFC tag. So there you go. So it says successfully stored. All right, let's go back into the app just to show you. So as you can see, it's all still off. And if we just tap on the tag just over there, there you go. It's turned on the main bedroom light and the floor light. So as you can see, it just went back to the previous state that they were both previously on. So it was purple and blue. All right. And let's go back and turn them both off again. So if we go back into the app, for example, let's say instead of turning the the lights on, now let's talk about switching the color. So let's go back and reset everything. So let's just refresh that. So now the bedroom light. So as you saw, it was currently purple, okay? Now, if I want to switch the color, as you can see, what I need to do is, is I need to go into the app into the Philips Hue app, let's say the be main bedroom. So I want the light to turn from um, from whatever color it is on into this sort of red color, for example, okay? So let's go back out of the app and see where it says switch bedroom light color. So I'm just gonna save. So we're gonna write it on there. There you go, so it's now successfully stored, okay? Now let's go back to the Philips Hue app. So for example, let's say it was on purple previously. All right, now I want it to turn red when I tap on this tag. So as you can see, if I tap on it, it will turn to red. So brilliant, that's how you can set it. So it is a little bit tedious because you do have to go in and out of the app uh, into, well, two different apps to set the color, which, it, it, like I said, it, it's a free app, so I can't really complain. And it does do the main things that you want really an NFC enabled uh, tag to really do. So I can't complain with that. Now, the issue comes with the fact that, let's say I want to switch it to that um, red color, but let's say the light was off. Okay. So for example, we'll go back and we'll turn it off. Now, if I tap on this tag, see, it doesn't turn it on and switch to that color. And from what I can tell from a lot of testing, from a lot of trial and error, trying to sort of maybe trick the system, there is no way to switch the color and turn it on if the light is off. So that is a huge downside to this app. So for example, let's say I get in, okay, and I wanna set, let's say all the lights are off at home at the moment, and I wanna get into uh, the bedroom and I just wanna have a movie mode set, so with different colors and stuff like that. Unless if they are already on those previous colors, um, I can't actually press the tag and have it turn on the, the bulbs that I want to the colors that I want. So that is the downside to using this free app or what, sh what I should say is, is this free app. So unfortunately, you do maybe have to have two tags, maybe one to turn on the actual light itself and then turn it to the scene that you want, all right? Now, the app itself doesn't have a color checker or color picker, so you do have to do this all within the Philips Hue app and then go back into the app, switch the color, and then save it on the NFC tag of choice. Now we can do global settings. So as you can see, if we just wanna turn on the whole living room or turn off the whole living room. So let, for example, let's say we wanna to toggle it. All right, and let's just turn that off. So for example, we're gonna save the tag just over there. So it's successfully stored. All right, let's go back into the Philips U app. So let's say, for example, the office light was on. All right, if I tap on this tag just over here, for example, it's now going to toggle um, 
the lights on, but can you see it didn't actually turn off the office light? So it, it does have a few bugs. So again, if I tap it again, okay, can you see it's now turned them all off? Again, tag it again, and it's turned them all on. But for example, let's say I turned off the office light, okay, and I tag, and this should toggle uh, the middle one on and the other two off. But if I tap on the tag, can you see it just turns them all off? So again, another small bug regarding um, the the actual lights themselves. So what I found was was that, for example, so rather than doing a global switch, if I went in and and did it manually. So doing that and doing that, for example, and then save. There you go, so it's now saved it. So they should all switch on or off depending on the state that they're on. So let's go back into the Philips Hue app, okay? For example, let's turn on the office light. So now if I tag, if I tap on the tag, can you see it now works? So for some reason, when you do the global setting, it doesn't seem to work, but when you individually set them, as you can see, if I just do it again, there you go, it's now changed it to the way I want. So it, like I said, there, there are a few weird bugs regarding this little app, but you're not paying a single penny for this app. So if you wanna get your hands dirty with NFC tags, this is a great starting app to use. Next up is the paid app, which is called All For Hue. Now this is a super powerful app, which can let you do a lot more than what I'm about to show you. So if you are interested in me reviewing this app, then please leave a like and obviously a comment down below. Just to let you know, you can write one free tag free of charge, but obviously I'm a bit of a smart home geek so obviously I've paid for it so I can have loads of NFC tags that I can write to. So as you can see if I just uh, sort of scroll down we've got the paid activation just there so it's only I believe $4.99 uh, like I said I haven't been paid for this app whatsoever now what we want to do is is as you can see we've got the lights set up so let's go into scene details okay and let's create a new scene. So to do that, we press the plus button down at the bottom, just over there. Now with this scene, I want to set up a new YouTube sort of lighting scene in the bedroom slash home office. So what we do is, is we wanna select the office light, the main bedroom light, as well as the floor light, all right? So those are the three lights in the uh, space that I have. We'll press next. Now with each individual light, we can change, uh, obviously if they're color enabled, which all of my bulbs are, uh, we can change the color of the um, bulb. We can also change the brightness of the bulb or alternatively, we can even just have it decide whether we want it off or on. So with the office light, I want to turn it on and I want it in that sort of nice purple color. So we'll have that quite saturated down there. We'll press next, so again, the highest brightness. The floor light, we wanna turn on, and we want to have it sort of that green color, again, quite saturated over there. And then with the main bedroom light, let's leave that off. So again, if we want to turn it on, we just tap it, and we can turn it on and then drag where we want the colors. But in this instant, I want the uh, bedroom lights to turn off. So let's turn that off. We'll press next just on the top there. Now we can change the transition time as you can see. So the transition time basically can define the fade for the scene itself. So 400 milliseconds is absolutely fine. Um, you can increase the fade uh, by just increasing that number to let's say 10 for a whole second, but four in this case is absolutely fine. We'll press next. Then we can enter the description. So let's call this uh, YouTube uh, scene um, one or something like that we'll press next over there and there you go we've got YouTube scene one now if we want to copy this to an NFC tag what we do is is we tap on it can you see just over there it says copy to NFC perfect so we've got the tag we'll just tap it there you go it just says successfully written we'll press done now what we'll do is is we'll go into the Philips Hue app 
And as you can see, we've got the lights over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the whole bedroom. All right, and then we're gonna test it out. So let's tap that and there you go. We've now turned off the bedroom light, the main bedroom light. The office light is set to the color that I wanted. And we've also got the floor light set as well. So very, very easy to do within the app. There's no need to come out just like the previous app. There's no need to use a second app. It's all done within the app just over here. It is a very, very powerful app. And I have to admit the, the cost, um, I think is well worth it. Uh, you can also use the, not just with Philips Hue bulbs, obviously, uh, color, you can use them uh, also with the Philips Hue plug as well. So they've actually included plug support with this as well. So something that I definitely will be uh, including as part of this setup. So let's jump back into the video. There we have it. Just a couple of apps which can help you create simple home automation without having to use your smart home assistant or open up an app. It makes things so much easier. I love using NFC tags because it's so much quicker to set things up. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop me a like. It really helps me out. Also, if you want to see more content like this, plus anything else, then hit that subscribe button and join Tech Car Moon like so many of you already have. And also, if you haven't already, please, Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My handle's Tech Car Moon. And also check out the links in the description below to support the channel as well. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.